first in tonight's news for health, powered by HealthKey.com. HPV, or human papillomavirus, is the most common sexually transmitted disease in the U.S. And we went to Penn State College of Medicine, where their research led to the creation of the HPV vaccine. One less statistic. One less. Because now there's Gardasil. We've all heard the commercials for the HPV shot, Gardasil. But did you know that researchers at Penn State College of Medicine played a large part in developing the vaccine? Here at Hershey, my boss, John Kreider, and his associate, Mary Kay Howard, developed a method to grow this virus for the very first time in the lab setting. Such a large development is something researchers say they rarely see. And for these researchers, this was a once-in-a-lifetime discovery, the first human anti-cancer vaccination. We labor long and hard, so to speak, and we develop reagents that no one cares about or sees or that sometimes never gets any apparent immediate use. I want to be one less woman who will battle cervical cancer. It's estimated that 75 to 80 percent of men and women in the U.S. will be infected with HPV in their lifetime. The disease is so widespread that as soon as you become sexually active, HPV is a guarantee. While the disease affects both men and women, women are more likely to be affected, and the best way they can protect themselves is to get vaccinated. It has very minimal side effects. There have been no long-term documented uh, major side effects. You just the usual side effect anyone would have from vaccines, some soreness, maybe some flu-like symptoms, um, and its effectiveness is could. Uh, possibly, you know, cure or prevent cervical cancer. Well, Gardasil consists of a series of three shots. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends that all girls ages 9 to 26 get vaccinated. Well, more